Thank you, Father. Father, we just lift your heavenly name up, oh God. Father God, we thank you for making all things beautiful for us, Father. Father God, as we begin the Faith Focus and Finish Strong Zoom talk tonight, oh God. Father God, we welcome you into the atmosphere, oh God. We welcome you into our hearts. We welcome you into our minds, oh God. Father God, we say that you are welcome here. You are the reason that we're here. So God, have your way, Holy Spirit, have your way, oh God. Father God, we ask that you remove any and everything that will distract us, Father God. Father God, remove any and everything that will stop the word that you have given our sister to bring forth anything that will stop it from deeply penetrating our hearts. Oh God, we ask that you remove it. Father God, we speak by faith in the name of Jesus and by the power of his blood, that the word will fall on good soil tonight. Oh God, Father God, good soil. And we will be able to go out and bear good fruit. Oh God. Father God, I pray for my sisters that's on. I pray for my sisters that's on the way. I pray for my sisters that's listening online, oh God. Father God, I pray for my sisters who may be even listening to the replay, oh God. Father God, for you know their needs, you know their hearts, you know what they stand in the need of, oh God. So I lift them up to you, Father God. Father God, we pray for our sister Kiana who is about to come forth, Father God, and help us heal the inner child, oh God. Father God, we pray a special prayer of protection, Father God, as she say yes, Father God, as she allow you to speak through her, oh God. Father God, as she tell her story, Father God, as she help us break through some things, as she help us to get free from some things, oh God. We thank you, Father God. We praise you. We speak by faith that no weapon, no weapon formed against her shall prosper for the work that she continuously do for your kingdom, oh God. Father God, we 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 uplift her, Father God. Father God, we thank you for giving her back more for what she is doing, Father God. Father God, for you giving her a hundredfold, a thousandfold, Father God, a millionfold for everything that she continuously pour out on a daily basis, Father God, without even thinking about it, without even expecting anything in return, oh God. So Father, we give you this time. We praise you. We worship you. We welcome you here, oh God, tonight. Have your way, oh God, have your way. Father God, this is not about us. This is all about you, Father. We do this for you. May everything that comes out of our mouths be pleasing to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Happy Friday Eve, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Faith Focus and Finish Strong Zoom Talk. My name is Marcia Cole. I am the host and founder. I am so excited for you to be joining us tonight for yet another transformational chain breaking, walls crumbling session as I welcome our special guest, Kiana Jones. She will be speaking on healing. Y'all hear me? Healing that inner child. Healing that inner child. We are so thankful. Listen, guys, we have created this space just for you, just for you, a safe place where you can come and hear stories of other women and how they've been able to get through every test, how they've been able to turn their pain into power, purpose, and praise. Oh God, we thank you. Listen, if he did it for them, guess what? He will do it for you. He is no respecter of person. We are here for you to be able to see the beauty in the path that God has you on despite what you've been through, despite what people have said about you, despite the challenges that are before you. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God who can do the impossible. So I just want to welcome our special guest to the stage as we go into a time of discussion. As you guys know, for those who are new, we are going to jump into a discussion. We will then open it up for Q&A where you will have an opportunity to ask our special guest questions regarding the topic or anything that she has said tonight. Or if you just want to, you know, share your own personal experience or just pour back. We, we definitely believe in pouring back into those who pour into us. Amen. Um, 
So welcome, let's welcome Kiana Jones to the stage. Yay! <laughs> How you doing tonight? Good, thank you for having me, Marcia. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, sis, for your yes. So I know some of you may be wondering, who is this beautiful woman of God? So let me tell you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Let me tell you who she is. She is a transformational speaker and self-love coach for women who want more for their lives. But really, she is a heart healer, a bondage breaker, a rod holder who is leading women to, to lives free of shame, settling, sacrificing everything they really want for the sake of what they believe they're good enough to have. Like most trusted advisor, Kiana finds her way into women's hearts with transparency and truth, come on, always an open book. She willingly turns the pages of her life story to reveal how God has turned her pain into power. Becoming a mother at 15, Kiana discovered early that she was built to fight for her dreams, her voice, and her significance. She paved a path to success for herself that included earning a master's degree, a managerial career, and ultimately a marriage. But when she was blindsided by betrayal that led to her divorce, Kiana uncovered personal wounds that still needed to be healed. Those private places where her en enoughness as a woman had never been affirmed, praise the Lord. As she set out to, reveal, to rebuild and soon realized that on the other side, on the other side was her destiny, a calling to use God's word as a sword to help women, oh, sever ties with men who can't love them and lives that can't fulfill them. Oh God, we thank you. Through her coaching, Kiana is facilitating one breakthrough after the next, helping her clients to unlearn everything that's holding them back. The result? A new breed of bold women who will never, ever feel inferior again. She holds a Bachelor of Arts in Biblical Studies from Washington Bible College and an MBA from the University of Maryland University College. She lives in Maryland with her three amazing children. For 12 years, she led small groups at Zion Church, where she also teaches emerging ministry leaders how to build communities that connect and change the people in them. Oh, God, we thank you. Welcome, welcome, sis. We thank are so excited for you to be here. So guys, remember the topic for tonight that we are discussing is healing the, in, um, the inner child. So Kiana, let's just jump into this conversation. Can you take us on a journey of your experience with healing the inner child? Absolutely. And thank you again for having me, ladies. Oh, wow. Woo, I would say that <laughs> the Lord has really been dealing with me over the years. Um, again, as you know, I became a mom at 15 years old and I'm going to tell you the inner child was wounded. I grew up without a father. Um, I can count on one, one hand, how many times I've met him and I still yearn for him, mm. even though it wasn't in my life. And that is when the first offense started with him not being there. It was the seed of abandonment that was placed that was my first wound and I didn't understand it so I grew up with that abandonment little girl who was frozen at the age of five mm. and I began to seek love and approval from men that really couldn't love me either I didn't know who I was and as I grew up I married my father not knowing, again, this is this abandoned little girl that's wounded. And when I was going through my divorce, I said, Lord, I need to heal her because I'm broken. And I need to heal this little girl in me that so desperately wants to connect. And I want every woman to know there is a little girl in her. And it's the way you show up in your emotions. It is the way you react to situationships. It's the way you react to circumstances. 
Are we going to get the five-year-old of you? Are we going to get the 35-year-old of you of how you respond? And I know you've all heard that saying before, oh, he brings out the little girl in me or, you know, why are you acting like a kid? We all have, we're all a kid at heart. So that is the background of my journey in healing the abandonment wounds. And I wanted to educate these sisters in Christ on how to be aware of that, explain what triggers are. We all have different trauma, PTSD. Some people have been touched inappropriately as a child and they're still frozen in that. They're still guarded. So we have to really, really look at our childhood and discover when was the first offense so that we can heal where we were stuck at as a child. Mm. Now your story is a familiar story for many of us mm -hmm. that being a fatherless child, um, thank you so much for your transparency. So let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's now, let's go a little deep. Okay. So how do we know if we have a inner child that we need to heal from? Okay, I'm glad you brought that up. So the inner child is our psyche, okay? It is the innocent part of us that has creativity, the awe in us, that we can do anything, right? That's our psyche, that's our mental, that's, that's us. Everyone has that in us, right? So I wrote my notes down, so it is important that you stay connected to her. So if you don't stay connected to her, have anybody ever felt a sense of emptiness, anxiety, imposter syndrome, low self-esteem, people pleasing, can't say no, promiscuous? Mm. I can go on and on and on. So anything you would know because you would feel something's off. Something isn't right. Have you ever been in a situation where you accept any type of treatment that you know your heavenly father would not approve of and you still sin in it because you just so lonely want to connect, belong, have somebody? That's how you know there's something in her that is crying out, help, help help but since this this place i'm just i'm this is a question but since mm -hmm. like this place feels so good it feels so safe mm -hmm. you know it, how mm -hmm. do i get how do i get out of this space mm -hmm. so there's many things that can help you get out of this space first is being honest with yourself to say hey i'm jack i'm bruised I'm bruised. And sometimes what our brain does is depending on the trauma, we tend to try to forget. The brain tries to forget it, okay? Because when you heal, you have to go back. You have to relive that event. You have to revisit that pain. You have to revisit that neglect. We don't want to do that. So what's the little girl like, no, 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 no. Don't go back there because that hurt us. We can't, we can't feel that again. First, you have to go back there have to identify where that is and sometimes you can pray and ask the holy spirit to reveal in you the broken pieces the bruised part of you as a child and then my biggest thing is therapy okay i'm gonna tell you some therapy goes back to your past life coach helps you with your present so you have to if it's too much for you if the brain will not allow you to revisit that and subconsciously you're pushing that away Therapy helps with that because they can walk you through it and they have techniques that'll walk you through that step by step. So that's the first thing I would say is therapy. The second thing I would say is get connected with her. Get plugged in with her. Be honest with her. Talk to her. Things that you like to do as a child, like I love dancing. So guess what I'll do? I'll take a dance class and just dance. That's me and her time. You know, because we are adults, we work, we run businesses, we taking care of our kids. We're doing everything but taking care of the inner child in us. So those are some things that I recommend you do is to get reacquainted with her, have solitude time with her. Write down what offenses 
Get help if you need help. Join a small group of women that you can trust. I said that you can trust. So we can break the patterns because there's so much and that goes to the benefits and you know the other question that you're gonna ask about benefits of healing and the consequences of not that I wanna get into. Let's jump right into it. So what is the consequences if we don't take the steps by like getting therapy, um, by going to God and giving that hurt and pain to God, by forgiving those who have offended us? Like what are the consequences? What if, what if we decide to stay in that place? of being a people pleaser, of always being anxious. Mm -hmm. Not the benefits, the consequences of that place. I don't know what you meant. The consequences one is recycle behavior. So recycle pattern, recycle poor decision-making. So you would find yourself in a cycle. So if you ever met, so here's the thing, hurt people connect with hurt people, right? So you would find yourself hooking up with the same narcissistic person, it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It can be a friendship. You'll find yourself in the same patterns of people. You'll find yourself in the same pattern of situations. So one of the consequences of not healing the inner child is a recycled pattern of behavior and thought processes and reactions. I don't know about you ladies, but I don't wanna be, I'm 41. I don't wanna be 41 acting like a five-year-old when I'm triggered. I, I, I just don't wanna do that. So you'll find yourself continually in a pattern of reacting to things in your stuck childhood where the offense was taken. If you don't get help for that, that's the consequences. You'll be stuck. Did y'all hear that? Like, even if you don't got kids, you've been around <laughs> a five-year-old. So right. just imagine what a five-year-old does when they don't get their way. Right, when they're not happy. Like, can you imagine your 20, 30, 40, 50 year old self like throwing a hissy? Like, how do you look? Right. Like, seriously, like, it's like a out, you like, you really gotta take yourself out of your body and think, like, am I acting like a 30, 40, 50 year old or a five year old? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Or, did I just react that way? Why did I react that way? That wasn't you. It was a fire road to you. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. That That's deep. So listen, if y'all don't want to be reacting as a five-year-old, remember, no more recycle behavior or patterns. No more. No more. Listen, you got to let the enemy know because... Basically, you're allowing the enemy to rule your thought life, right? You're allowing him to determine how you're going to respond. You're allowing him to control your emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, you have to say no more, right? Because God said, I'm going to have to do a new thing. But he can't do a new thing, but you still acting as your old nature, and mm -hmm. I was like, sometimes I had to ask myself, like, what am I missing? Cause I won't grow up. <laughs> That's a good question. Like, what am I missing? Cause I won't grow up. Literally y'all have to understand, like, literally, this is how I talk to myself. Like mm -hmm. how I'm talking to you mm -hmm. online right now. Like, this is how I have real life conversation <laughs> with myself. Yep. So let's get into the benefits of saying no more. Yes, the benefits to saying no more is you become whole with the inner child in you and you become all that God has called you to be healed and whole as the adult version of you. The two go hand in hand. And I think um, one of the benefits for me is handling triggers because triggers, they don't go away, guys. Let's be honest, okay? It's how you cope with them that will tell you the measurements of your healing and your growth. And I'm going to give you an example. I call them transparency moments, okay? Now, you got to get the raw, uncut, cut, the raw uncut, uncut at my conference coming up on March 26th. So I'm giving y'all a smooth version of me today. <laughs> but um, 
again, as I mentioned, you know, I didn't grow up with a father. And let me just say this, trauma affects each person differently. So for an example, my sibling who didn't have a father, they're like, why are you tripping? You ain't know him, so what? Let's move on. But trauma affects each person differently. So that affected me differently. I could not get over that. And I think it's because of my environment. All my friends had fathers. Daddy, daughter dance, couldn't go to that. So all of those things affected me differently than the next. So I say that, right? So I'm grown up now and I'm an adult. And I see this girl, I was watching TV one time. I think it was Judge Judy, don't judge me. And she was arguing with her father for not coming to her graduation. And I'm watching this on TV, guys. Now, mind you, I'm an adult at this point. And I've been going to counseling for that thing because I believe in therapy. And the expression in which she was saying, I felt that I began to sob like a child, crying. But here's where the healed version of me, I began to speak to that little girl and I said, okay, you want your daddy. You know what that little girl feels like. You know that you wish that you had that experience with your father. You don't have that, but we have each other and we also have God. And he says, when your mother and father forsakes you, I will take you up under, you are mine forever. So I replace that hurt with truth. And then five minutes of crime. Okay, we got ourselves back together. And we conduct business as usual. That was a trigger. But the healing came on how I dealt with that trigger. I didn't go out looking for somebody to hold me the night. Wasn't out there looking for a daddy. I took care of her myself. That is my duty to take care of her. I got you, Kiana. Talking to the five-year-old, I got you. We're going to cry it out because you still, you know, it's a, it's a trigger. It's, it's you. It's your soul. So I hate when people say, you're not healed if you're not triggered. That's the biggest lie ever. But know how to cope with your triggers in a healthy manner, in a healthy, productive way. I love that. And I love how one thing that I feel like we do is run from our emotions, but I love how you're just like, you didn't like what I heard, what you you're saying, like process your emotions, sit with those things. Sit work, with it. Because work that's her, through those things. That's her. She needs to get it out. That's her. She's, she, she wants her daddy. She wants that. And even though she has a heavenly father, she there's a, still a place in her that wanted to experience that. That's a trigger. You don't know when you're going to be triggered. We're human. We're not perfect. And we will not be 100% healed until we get out of this body. Okay. And that is not here on earth. Okay. So we have to consciously um, continue to allow the Holy Spirit to identify our identify places in us that we are bruised so that we can heal so that we can help somebody else out it's never about me honey <laughs> it's always about the next woman it's never about me but if we can feel the pain it's so easily for us to connect with somebody and um past about i go to zion's church and my pastor said something key the other day sometimes people don't have time to go to school to go to seminary, <laughs> to get all of this. So God fast track you through life experiences. Mm -hmm. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. So this that I'm doing, this isn't free. I pay for this through my tears, my pain, depression. I paid for this. And God is using this to help me connect to his daughter so that I can bring them on the other side to him. So it's just about being honest about where you are. And like you said, Marcia, allowing you to feel that emotion and speak God's truth to it. It's okay to cry. It's okay. Amen. Um, and, you know, guys really like lean in, right? Because some of the things that she is speaking on, it's, it's, 
like when you were talking, it's not, it's not even just about healing that inner child, right? Because you're basically saying this is a process. Like this is just not, oh, you was able to shut her up there, right? <laughs> and so she, right. she gone. No, 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 no. Like you're, you're going to continue to be triggered. And it doesn't mean that you haven't healed from it. One thing that we have to remember y'all that we are, we are still flesh. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are still flesh. We're not of this world, but we're in this world. And we, mm -hmm. and every day, that's why God says every day, got to take up your cross and follow him. Every day you got to pull on your full armor of God. You got to lift your shield of faith up because the enemy is trying to throw every, anything like, like for me and her who are fatherless child children, right? He, what he's going to put on our timeline for us to see. What he's going to put on a TV, what circles are he going to put us in, right? Where people are talking about how good their fathers are, mm -hmm. how their dad is always there. I'm triggered. I, I remember when Sarah Jakes and T.D. Jakes did a live together. Yes. <laughs> I can so relate. I was in tears, not because of what they were saying, but just that whole dynamic in that relationship. Absolutely. Like, where is my dad? Where's my covering? Why can't I do that with my dad? I'm with you, Marcia. I'm with you. But I hear a voice. I got oh, you. Yes. I am. I got you. I am that I am. I am. And I got you. I am. I got you. I and got he, you. He, he, he has us. And, you know, sometimes... You know, I just go into a place of gratefulness. Gratefulness mm -hmm. helps me get through everything mm -hmm. because sometimes we're like, oh, I wish, I wish, like we're looking mm -hmm. at other, I wish my dad was in. Yes. Well, maybe God was trying to save you from something. Um, maybe that's why your dad wasn't in your life. Absolutely. You know, you don't have to be told just because your dad is in your life. I know plenty of people who grew up with their fathers. Absolutely. <laughs> and it doesn't mean their life is better than mine. Okay. Uh, Absolutely. Amen. You know, God said, I will provide every one of your needs. God says, I am your shepherd. You lack nothing. So Amen. when we allow ourselves to take our eyes off of the world, okay? <laughs> and we, we allow ourselves to hear from him, right? And increase our spiritual vision. Oh, things change. Amen. So Amen. A reminder that you have everything that you need. Amen. Everything. He's already set provision for it. And this didn't catch God off guard that we didn't have fathers in our lives. It didn't catch him off guard. He said, I'm going to use that. I know what to do with that. But people think that because we're in front of the camera or the microphone or we're on the front line, we don't feel pain for some reason or we haven't figured it all out. <laughs> We hurt really bad. <laughs> we do because we have to be strong. And I'm learning for her. You don't have to always come off strong. It's okay to say, guys, I need a minute. I need a second. It's okay. You know, Father's Day come around. I remember I used to hate Father's Day. I don't know what it was. It was just, ugh. I don't have those uh, feelings anymore because I know some good fathers. My pastor's one, you know, my brother's one. So I celebrate the people that I know that are great fathers. It doesn't affect me like it did before. So you could see where your inner child is healing a parts of her and you just respond differently. So I want people to understand, Marcia, triggers are not necessarily healed you learn how to cope with it more effectively and healthy without substance abuse. You know how many people use substance abuse just to cope with the triggers? So we're not doing that. We have the Holy Spirit, but it's never an end thing. It could come out of nowhere. It's like a wave. You don't know when you're going to be triggered. That's why it's called triggers. <laughs> but it's important that every girl on this call, every woman know their triggers. Every little girl, you have to know the triggers. One of the things 
the enemy uses, of course, he knows everything about you because he studied you for a long time. So like Marcia says, he knows how to get you with your triggers. But one thing about opposition is knowing the enemy. He don't have no new tricks. So if you know your triggers, you know that's what he's going to hit you with. So you have to stay prepared and learn how to cope with it. And what I would tell you is to get some index cards like these. And what I tell my clients is write down your trigger here. And then you'll turn it over on the back of it. And I have them write scripture on God's truth for it. And what they do is I say, you walk around with it until it's embedded in your heart. Well, you don't need to memorize the scripture. You got it right here. See, all my bullets is up here. I flow scripture like it ain't no other up here from here. Um, but for some people, they're learning and that's okay. We have to meet people where they are. So you can start off with these index cards. So that way, when you're triggered, you can pull it out. Okay, God, let me breathe in. Breathe out. Speak to her. I feel this way because back in 1985, I'm just being honest. Somebody touched me inappropriately. For me, back in 1985, I had a jury curl. My nickname was Billie Jean. They called me Billie Jean. I thought I was ugly. I, I, no one ever looked at me, okay? I had this big jury curl. My mother was dead wrong for that, okay? Dead wrong for that, but she has been forgiven. And, you know, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. And I would put that on the back of my card. And as I look in the mirror, my adult self and that little jury curl girl pops up. Mm -mm -mm. I am wonderfully and beautifully made. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm chosen. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a Proverbs 31 woman. My heart is pure. My heart is like Christ. So you speak that to the enemy. He'll run. He'll flee. I'm giving y'all my little secrets. I gave y'all three secrets. I, know, right? <laughs> I hope you guys are taking yeah. notes. And I'm not talking about just mental notes. <laughs> I pray that you're either writing them down or you're putting them in the note section on your phone or computer. Believe me, because tomorrow <laughs> might be triggered. This <laughs> might be triggered. You know, because what happens is as soon as something comes and, and, and helps deliver us from a thing, right? So as the enemy flees, we got to remember what the word says. What happens? He comes back with seven of his cousins. Seven more. Right? And he <laughs> wants, if that house is empty, so if that house is not filled with the word of God, that house is not filled with truth, oh, he's going to be even harder to defeat. Harder to defeat. And a lot of times, if you're ever confused about like things that you need to heal from, look at your family, look at your mother, mm. look at your auntie, look at your grandmother. Amen. Amen. And that go mm. your answers. Because the, the reason why, and, and, I, and I say this all the time, the reason why it's so hard for us a lot of times to break free from some things is because of the weight that came with that thing, because it didn't start with us. Amen. No, so you prayed about it. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is good. But now I need some therapy. Amen. Therapy. I, need other, I need to come into fellowship with other believers. Amen. Amen. Hey, amen. And I'm glad that you said that because we focus so much on the external. We'll buy 22 inches of bundles, weave down our backs, make up good Lord, face beat to a pole. Mm. latest designers looking good smelling good with the latest fragrance and our spirit is jacked up mm. we're broken we're bruised inside because we can't see what's inside only you know how you feel and I just want to ch you know challenge every woman to take care of you internally because that's what's going to matter the looks fades away amen it's the heart. So I just want you guys to leave tonight really focusing on the inner child so the two of you can become whole. You know, you have people waiting on you 
And as long as you're bruised, you can't really be effective. I mean, God uses anybody in any situation, but he wants us to be so healed and effective so we can be there for people, you know what I mean? And not necessarily have them there for us. It's a two-way street, but I want to be the best heel version of me I can possibly be. And I think that's what it's all about. It's that authenticity for me. Amen. Wow, the authenticity you, the innocent you, it's you. It's you in there. So I'm open to questions. I hope that this help you all to understand where to start to break generational curses. They didn't have that knowledge back there. So. If we have any questions, please go ahead and either you can put them in the chat or you can take yourself off of mute. Even if you don't have a question, any comments, um, if you want to just pour back into Kiana, please, please either put it in the chat or take yourself off of mute. And also, Kiana, as we are waiting for everyone, can you go ahead and put in the chat how they can connect with you, your social media for those who who are on our email list, you will also get her information there. Um, if I could uh, speak real quickly, uh, Marcia. Um, I just put my IG on there. I'm sorry, Kiana speaks on IG. Um, I wanted to let everyone know um, that I am having a women's conference on March 26th in Washington, DC. It's called Bruised But Not Broken, where I'll be going more in depth, raw, uncut. With Healing the Inner Child, I have some amazing vendors, a live therapist as well. And we're just going to go ahead and heal the inner little traumas in us. So if you are free that day, the link to purchase tickets is in my bio on Kiana Speaks IG page. So I welcome anybody to come and be blessed. Um, you're in for a treat. Amen. But thank you. <laughs> Amen. Make sure that you guys go and follow her. And for those of you all who are in the DMV, please, please make sure. It's only in-person option, right? No virtual? Yeah, no right. virtual in-person. We, we're trying to get to the nitty gritty now. You got to be in the room, okay? Get <laughs> in the room. In the Hell. room. That's what things happen. Absolutely. Get in the room. Um, and even if you can't make it, like share it with someone, share it with your network. Absolutely. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, and let's see here. Any questions? Let's check the chat. So Kiana, this was right on time. This was amazing. Thank you. And while people are still processing, I want to, I want to ask the audience to do something. For the word that has come forth tonight, if you can just put in the chat, what are you saying? No more to. Go ahead and put that declaration into the chat. I am saying no more to whatever that is. Go ahead and speak it. Speak it, speak it, put it into the atmosphere. As we begin to close out, also, if you have any prayer requests, please go ahead and place those in the chat. Please remember that we are here every Thursday at 8.30, at 8, 8.30 Eastern time. And we also, we're turning three, guys. So the Living Free Conference is back March 30th through April the 1st. As always, we have the virtual and in-person option as well so if you have not grabbed your tickets right now we have early bird ticket sales going on so make sure you you really don't got no excuse though because it's virtual and in person so even if you're not in the dmv come like we want you in the room we are celebrating y'all we are three do you know the significance of three like we made it to yeah. three despite the things that we've had went through we made it to three we are still here on thursdays at 8 30 unless we're on a spiritual break unless i get sick or something <laughs> but we have made it to year three and it just gets bigger from here 
it just, it just get bigger from here. And we just praise God and we thank God for everything that he's doing, everything that he has done and everything that we haven't even seen yet. Let's go ahead. I see you guys lighting up the chat. I am saying no more to the cycles and patterns that have weighed on me. I am saying no more to stressful situations. I am saying no more to control. Like, hey amen, let go and let God. Now you don't have to do this in this chat because I mean, I ain't trying to be all up in your business if you're not comfortable, but I want you to, I want you to journal on it. Like if like Sade, you saying, I am saying no more to control, control about what? Like write that thing out, right? If you're saying no more to stressful situations, what does that look like? What are stressful situations? Chantrees, if you're saying no to cycles and patterns that weigh on me, what are those cycles and patterns, right? Not asking you to post it in the chat, but I'm asking you to, to go deeper in, in your journaling, in your reflection time, in your, in your quiet time with God. I am saying no more to bot loving myself first, to not loving myself first. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That should be. That's my sister. She is such awesome. a beautiful soul. Awesome. Yes. Okay. And um, before we uh, close out, any final thoughts for the audience? Just remember that you all are magical. Amen. You are very magical. It's only one of you, and that is your superpower. Never forget it. Amen. Y'all hear that? You guys, um, go ahead and put I am magical in the chat. Go ahead and put I am magical in the chat. Absolutely. All day. So Kiana, we definitely, y'all, she in the DMV for those that are in the DMV. Like she, she next, she our neighbor. She like next door. <laughs> So make sure you stay connected to her. Make sure you follow her. So anything that she has going on, you can support. She is a forever family member here at Faith Focus and Finish Strong. So she is always welcome back. So Kiana, we just, we really thank you. Thank for you. So like seriously, because like you said, you said a little bit about this earlier, but people don't understand what it means to say yes. Like, it's not, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing, you know? And because of your yes, the enemy is like, oh, what can I, I need to throw something at her right now, right? Because of your yes, but no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Though a thousand may fall, 10,000 at your right, you will not be touched. Though you may go through the fire, you will come out not even smelling like smoke. So God, we just thank you for your daughter, Kiana, for the word that has been brought forth tonight, Father God, for all the tools, Father God, that she has given us to heal the inner child, oh God. Father God, we pray a special prayer of protection. Father God, we thank you for shielding her, for protecting her from and for covering her, Father God. Not just her, but everyone in her household, everyone that's connected to her, oh God. We thank you that no weapon formed against her household, no weapon formed against her health, her finances, oh God. Father God, we speak in the name of Jesus that everything she touch is blessed. Everything she touch is prosperous, Father God. Father God, we just thank you for providing every one of her needs. Father God, we thank you that she doesn't lack nothing, that you do not keep no good thing away from her, Father God. We thank you that you will see every great work that you have started in her to completion here on earth, oh God. Father God, we just thank you for her life, oh God. We thank you for showing her the same favor that you showed Joseph, oh God. Oh God, we just praise you and thank you for providing everything that she needs. We thank you for blowing her mind, Father God. Father God, we thank you for the for, for you showing her favor in rooms that she haven't even entered in yet. We thank you, Father God, for putting her names on, on the minds of people of power and influence, Father God. Oh God, we thank you for the doors that are opening because of her yes. Father God, we thank you for the seat at the table that has already been prepared for her, oh God, oh yes. 
Father God, I continue to just praise and lift your name up, oh God. Father God, as we go, as we go away from the call tonight, oh God, Father God, we just pray, Father God, that the word that came forth tonight has fallen on good soil for everyone that's listening, that's listening to the replay, oh God. Father God, we pray that we'll be able to go out and multiply Father God, and bear good fruit for what we have heard tonight, day, Father God, that we won't just be hearers of this word, Father God, but that we will be doers, that we'll be able to apply this to our lives and help those around us, oh God, to apply it to their lives. Father God, I pray for each and every household and woman and generation that's represented here tonight, oh God. Father God, for you know what they stand in the need of, Father. And Father, I just lift them up to you, Father God. May you continue to be the Jehovah Jireh. May you continue to be the Jehovah Shalom. May you continue to be the Jehovah Rapha. May you continue to be, oh God, the Jehovah Nisi. May you continue to be the Lord Almighty, oh God. Oh God, we thank you that your promise still stands, Father God. Father God, that you are a God who do it over and over and over and over again. Father God, that humanly speaking, <laughs> it may seem impossible, but with you, oh God, all things are possible. Father God, so we declare and decree in the name of Jesus and by the power of his blood that we walk in victory. Father God, that we will be victorious and saying bye-bye to that inner child, Father God. Father God, that when we are triggered by that inner child, that we will be victorious and speaking your truth, Father God, and standing on your promises, Father God. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you and we worship you, Father God. We praise you, we thank you, Father God, for sending your son to die for every one of our sins, oh God. Father God, if we have any unforgiveness in our hearts, any unconfessed sins, oh God, we ask you to bring it to the surface, Father. Give us the wisdoms that we need, Father God. Help us with our unbelief, oh God. Oh God, we call on you, we worship you and we praise you and we thank you for yet another day, Father. Please allow us to see the morning light, oh God. Father God, may everything we do and say be pleasing to you, oh God. So in the mighty name of Jesus, we seal this time and this prayer with the blood of Jesus, Father God. We come into agreement, we ask, we seek, we trust, we believe in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, thank amen. you, amen, that was powerful. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And I I'm definitely do want to apologize to the audience because I did kind of just go into prayer. So if you do have any prayer requests, please place them in the chat because I pray over them every morning. So if there are any prayer requests that I may have missed, please um, place them in the chat because I believe in the power of calling out people's names. Amen. And Amen. prayer. Amen. Trying to understand people, negative behaviors, and all when their behaviors affect me. Okay. I don't think I miss anything. So thank you, sis. Have an amazing night. Thank you, guys. And for all the listeners, I just want to say I'm so proud of you that you decided to click on because you didn't click on for me. You didn't click on for her, but you clicked here for yourself. You could have been anywhere else. You could have been binge watching something on Netflix or Hulu. I don't even know. But you have came here tonight and God sees that. And he is so proud of you. So remember that God loves you and so do I. Have a good night.